time to, uh, it's time. It's time for WGI Finals. about 5 a.m. but uh, we're on our way to WGI Finals. Alright, can't really see us because it's too dark, but Zach's driving us to Eden Prairie High School right now. He, as many of you know, teaches the Eden Prairie Drum Line with a number of our friends. They are competing in Percussion Scholastic Open class this year. Uh, and they were nice enough to let me tag along for the trip to WGI Finals. Are you excited, Zach? I am anxious, but yes. This is the first time WGI Finals is happening since 2019, where Zach and I along with our friends at Broken City Percussion, we're lucky enough to win the whole thing. Uh, so we've technically been kind of the reigning champions for three years now. Um, which is funny, but uh, it's time to let some other people feel that same feeling that we did and have some of the fun. Cafe. Mi, 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 mi cafe. I think we, I think we try it when we get there. If we got there, it like. <laughs> <laughs> A chair. Oh, we got a desk. Yeah, flip the lights, sir. Oh yeah. Buckaroo. Okay. Oh, well, they got two singles. Good amount of space. So only we have to share a bed. Huh. There's a lot of space. This place really does rock. Yeah, not bad. And let's see our view. Oh. It looks like there was like supposed to be a balcony here, but then they just like decided not to. I mean, can we get out here? Oh, dude, we all. Oh. oh, it's locked. I want to be out no, here. Go, dude, I want to get, we're going to get out here. We're going to yeah, get out eventually. Here. All right, so we made it to the hotel. Uh, finally, it feels good to get out of the bus and stretch the legs a little bit. And uh, there's groups rehearsing outside everywhere in Dayton, including right outside our hotel. So we're gonna go check them out.
Hi, I'm wondering if we could get some more towels and toilet paper up in room 253. Great, thank you. Um, good morning. It is Thursday, 9 a.m. Uh, I am tired because Zach and I had to share this uh, pull-out bed and it is not very comfortable, uh, but it is what it is. Um, I got my coffee, so that'll help. Uh, the kids actually just started rehearsing outside. I'm not on staff technically, so I don't really need to be there right away. Um, so I'm just gonna take my time here this morning. We actually just ate breakfast. I'm gonna shower, get ready, pack up my stuff, and then go maybe film some of their rehearsal. So the schedule today, uh, we have rehearsal this morning. Uh, it's gonna take a little lunch break in a couple hours, then rehearsal again in the afternoon until around 2.30, which is when the kids will load up the truck, shower, get in the uniform, and then we have like an hour, hour and a half drive all the way down to Northern Kentucky University, which is where the Scholastic Open prelims are happening. Um, and then they'll do their lot, do their show, um, and then we'll be able to check out some of the other Scholastic Open groups while we're down there. Uh, and that's kind of it for the day. So should be a good day. Hopefully the kids have a good show today and, and can shake off the bus uh, in, in their rehearsal this morning. So, so yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for the Eden Prairie kids to you know show off their product in front of the world. Um, and I'm excited for myself just as a fan to be able to check out all these different groups and, and hang out and see some old friends. So yeah, here we go. raining which is a bummer but that's uh the midwest in the spring i guess Joanna wins, clearly. Woo! Swag and Dalek. Okay, so we just ate lunch, just finished the gritty contest. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go back inside the hotel. They have about two hours of rehearsal left uh, until we have to leave for the show. I'm gonna go inside and recharge all of my electronics. And then I'm gonna actually, there's a Dollar Tree uh, right next to our hotel and I'm gonna go uh, see if there's any toys I can find in there that can keep me occupied for the next couple of hours.
it to Truist Arena at Northern Kentucky University. It's a pretty sweet setup they have here. Uh, the warm-up zones are all pretty small, but we're making them work. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's really fun to be back here where uh, everybody's warming up and it's loud and uh, you can just kind of feel the energy and it's, it's pretty awesome. Okay, lots over. Kids sound great. So, time to get ready for the show. Okay, so we're back at the hotel now. Um, we did find out that the Eden Prairie drum line will not be advancing past prelims, uh, which is unfortunate. Um, but you know, it's a it's a very competitive activity. Lots of groups, um, and lots of really good groups in in the class. So it is what it is. We're still going to try to make the most of the weekend. Um, tomorrow we're going to go check out some of the world class groups at the University of Dayton Arena. So that should be fun, and hopefully I'll get to see some old friends in the process. So uh, I'm going to go get some sleep, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay, we made it to University of Dayton Arena. We're gonna check out some shows today. Joanna, how are we feeling? Oh, we're feeling great. We're feeling great. It's a good it's a day. It's a good day. It's, it's like 40 degrees in Minneapolis right now, but it's like <laughs> 70 degrees here. So uh, yeah, we're happy to be here. So honestly, Friday and Saturday were kind of a blur. I didn't film a whole lot because I frankly wasn't doing anything that interesting. It was just a lot of watching shows, watching lots, catching up with old friends, and meeting those of you that came up to say hi. On Saturday, we had some downtime in the morning, so we took the Eden Prairie kids to scene 75, which is where, as you probably remember from last year's vlog, Zach got last place in go-karts. Zach got last. Zach is okay, the last okay. place. I... <laughs> Zach was able to redeem himself this year by shredding up DDR. Jared beat me in Connect Four Hoops, and it was a blast. They counted it! That's some BS!
but it became time to head back to UD Arena to check out World Class Finals. I got a couple of good videos of groups warming up in the lot, so here are a few of my favorites. <laughs> I got to hang out with Broken City. The lot was crazy, as expected. All right, ready? Watch this. I'd like to formally apologize for that right now. I don't accept that. <laughs> and then I helped them roll their stuff on and off the floor. It was really special for me to be there to see their finals run, which was fantastic. And then the next morning, we all got on the bus and headed home. just sit and chat for a little bit. What a fantastic weekend. I uh, it just felt really good to be back there in Dayton after the three year pandemic induced hiatus. And uh, it just felt like we picked up right where we left off. The energy, the wide ranging weather conditions, the crowded lots, it all just felt kind of good and right. And I'm just happy for the community that this event was able to happen again. I heard from a number of you that because of the pandemic, this was only your first or second time coming to Dayton and that you were having the time of your life and that was really awesome to hear. It's just a special event. It's a special celebration of marching percussion that can hopefully happen annually without interruption for years to come. It was certainly a special weekend for me personally. I got to hang out with my friends that lead the Eden Prairie Drumline as well as those kids who represented well in the Scholastic Open class. I was able to meet a ton of you, which was awesome, out on the lots, even at the hotel and at Scene 75. And I was able to see some of my closest friends from around the world, some of which were out on the floor performing for the very last time in their marching careers. Um, so yeah, it's just an amazing all around weekend and I'm beyond happy that I was able to go. So thank you for watching as always. Please do all of the liking, subscribing and commenting it uh, keeps me motivated to continue making videos like this. So I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you all next time. Peace. So Kyle, where are we? We're in Ohio. Would you say that you're enjoying yourself? Yeah. Having a good time? I would say that I'm having a good time, yeah. 